Hey guys, what's up? Shandabir here. And I found an interesting article that was published a couple days ago. It talks about video games and how they may affect the brain differently depending on what you play. This article talks about the link between first person shooters and brain damage, but this info came from an article titled First Person Shooters Cause Brain Damage According to a New Study. They're going for shock value, don't worry guys. After finding the original article, I, I'm i really interested in the topics it discusses. I thought this was super duper interesting because it really focuses in on first person shooters and that's generally what I enjoy playing. So this article was published by Gregory West, the lead author and an associate professor of psychology at the University of Montreal. So this article was published on Tuesday in Molecular Psychiatry, and it states that people who play action video games that involve first-person shooters such as Call of Duty or Medal of Honor experience shrinkage in the brain region called the hippocampus. So this is the part of the brain that has to do with our spatial navigation, stress regulation, and memory. But it says that playing platformers like Super Mario have the opposite effect that part of the brain actually begins to grow and strengthen. So out of the participants, they had 33 that reported they play an average of 19 hours of action video games in each week. The 33 had less gray matter in the hippocampus than non-video game players. The researchers then asked 43 other people who don't normally play video games to spend 90 hours over about 10 weeks playing either action games or Super Mario games in a controlled setting. Now the ones who played the action games lost gray matter in the hippocampus. Those who played platformers gained gray matter. There's a quote here. While we train up one system, the other system is potentially being neglected and potentially showing signs of atrophy. Professor of neuroplasticity in Germany says people who play action video games shouldn't be too concerned. This article isn't looking to call an end to first person shooters. It just was a very interesting study and interesting results were found. The reason they feel that the hippocampus is getting neglected is that there are GPS overlay systems on the screens, like the minimap and, you know, place finders to uh, head to, to complete objectives. Following markers to a destination and using these markers, use the caudate nucleus, which is part of the brain's reward system. This article recommends playing 3D platformers or logic puzzle games to increase the hippocampus. They say the evidence is clear at this point that these games can be beneficial for the brain. My thoughts on this are that this was a study done for a group, right? Almost 50 people. And they spent 90 hours in 10 weeks playing either or of the games. In such a short amount of time, I feel like doesn't that mean that the brain is so malleable that depending on what you decide to do with your free time in any given point in your life, you can actually change what's going on with the different parts of your brain. This doesn't seem to be something that would be drastically changing to our personalities or memory or anything if we can just simply switch a game and increase that part. Maybe a healthy balance is required between the two different game types, whether it be platformers or first-person shooters. Because I don't know about you guys, but I'm not about to put down a first-person shooter anytime soon. So this was just an article that I found incredibly interesting. Let me know in the comments if you guys ever find one that you think I should take a look at. Thanks so much for watching, guys. So much love, and I'll see you next time. Bye!